I've been privy to what it is because they happen so fast. I couldn't assimilate. So there are then, some universal gestures then. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, all human beings are, are very animated. Do yes, they, they, they smile. They also frown, and they also look very sad when, when something is, is distressing them. So they do experience it. Um, you know, they do ex experience emotions, but not to the degree that we do. Um, uh, after they've had their discussions, one will turn to me. Um, usually, most of the time, it's Morinet. And he'll talk to me like I'm talking to you. He'll actually go to the great lengths to speak to me. Um, or sometimes it's just telepathic. You know, and he'll just look at me. And, and for a while there, I wasn't always getting the message because I was so focused on the color that was flashing in front. I was watching that. I was like, wow, this is really amazing. You know, um, but then sometimes I'd have to repeat it. So, but now that kind of that novelty has worn off. So now I, I listen to the message. Um, um, and. Phaseus is almost always telepathic, um, so that's, that's what they do. What have they asked you to do in order to help them? Just to disseminate information. Um, I've, 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 I'm currently in the process of trying to investigate all of the current UFO information that's out there, and what I've had the ability to do is sometimes check it with them, well is this true, is that true? And they've said yes or they've said no. There is a lot of disinformation out there. So what I've been trying to do is just to uh, assimilate what is real and give it from their perspective of how it affects us. Um, we have a real mess on our hands. Okay, let's talk about some of that. According to your Andromedan sources, there are three groups of extraterrestrials who are involved in very distressing agendas here on Earth. One is the renegade, gray-skinned, Zeta Reticulans. Another is the Giza intelligence formerly of the Pleiades, and a third is the reptilians from Alpha Draconis. Is there another? Yes. Okay. Uh, there's the Orion group as well, and there's 141 of them here. And they're from Ursa Minor, Ursa Major, Rigel, and Betelgeuse, uh, from, from that particular group, that particular area of, of, of the star system. There are a lot of agendas here, hidden agendas. And um, you, you have to understand that some of the races, um, for example, the Draconids, the Draconids themselves did not evolve as a, a life form in our universe. They were dumped here. Uh, they were brought here because they're just a pain. They're incredibly smart. They're incredibly psych psychic. They're incredible builders but they're bullies. Their whole thing is control, domination. And because there's no race in our universe that can really beat them up and wipe them out, they don't have to choose light or dark. They're just where they are. And they've chosen the opposite polarity. Um, they're, they're a tough bunch. Um, they've manipulated a lot of civilizations throughout our galaxy. Um, they're also responsible for the 600,000 year war, which almost annihilated the humankind, human species in our galaxy. And they show very little remorse about it. Uh, hopefully they'll, they'll be leaving soon. <laughs> um, but the others are life forms that have evolved, like the Orions, the Orion group. The Orion group has been uh, genetically manipulated and have um, been deeply entrenched in draconian belief systems. So they're carrying that, that energy or that torch for whatever their agendas are, as well as their own agendas. Okay? Um, the reticulant, the greys, the greys have been also have been controlled and manipulated by the Orion group. So there is a system, a class system here um, that's been established. Um, and this is very common in, in the non-benevolent or regressive extraterrestrial structures where there's a class system of workers, warriors, uh, administrative or priests, and then the hierarchy, the royalty. Um, and the lower you are, the worse you're treated. We have a history of that here on our planet as well. Right. You know, the caste and, and we've been taught this by the aliens themselves. Right. And the Pleiadians very much were part of that as well. For a time, they were very much in that belief system. Let's focus for a while on the renegade Zeta Reticulans. Uh, what